Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. Today what I'm going to do is explain how to set up custom rotations through procedures. Uh, we can't do actual Y coordinates yet uh, for uh, up and down, but we can do north, uh, north, east, south, and west. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to set up a quick procedure, how to get that all working. Now, um, these blocks here are facing the respective towards the player based on the player's direction facing the opposite way. So this is actually going to be facing north where um, the other ones, like we're actually going to be facing south when we place it. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense when we actually start decoding this procedure here. It's not too complicated when it comes down to um, actually setting up. Uh, we've basically created a, another if statement inside of this if statement. I'm going to cover this first. Now what this is going to do is test to see if it's on the server side regardless if it's uh, single player or multiplayer. Um, th what it's basically doing is making sure the procedure only runs once and doesn't run for the client, the actual player side of things. Um, so what would happen if we were just to have it like this without this uh, little thing added on to it is it's going to be um, doing this for both the actual world and for the actual player. So what we want to do is make sure that it's just targeting the world itself. So what we've done is we've created an if statement and then we've gone to operate or not operators, um, logic and loops. We've added a not statement. Then we've gone to world data. We scrolled down until we see is provided world remote and then client side. So we're testing if it's on the server side by doing adding the not statement. If we were just to add the statement rate to the if statement is testing if it's player side. So that's all we've done here. For the rest of the configuration, um, I'm just going to remove this and I'm going to build it from scratch. So what we've done is we've used a uh, logic operator, a light blue one, and we've gone with an and statement. We've placed that down in there. We've also used a, another operator for dark blue. We've gone with uh, equals or greater than, or greater than or equals to, and we've placed that into the first slot here. And then from there, what we've done is we've gone to entity, we've scrolled down to the bottom, uh, well, roughly around the bottom, and there is an entity direction um, in DEG, relative to s. Now you want to grab that, you want to place it in your first uh, dark blue operator slot, and then what you want to do is grab a math number, and we want to set this to your the respective value, so anything that we have set up here. So this is going to test between uh, the uh, let's see, I think it's east and east direction. So what we've done is we set this up to be 45 degrees and then we want to also create this, duplicate it would be fine and go less than and then 135. So it's going to be testing if it's equal or greater than 45 and basically um, 134 because it's going to be less than this number and it's a solid number so it will be 134 and that's basically how I set up that procedure so this is going to test for a range of items between these two numbers here if it's true then it's basically removing the block and then it's placing the proper block that it needs to be rotated on. And uh, down here is the uh, south, I think the south value. Let's see if what block it is. If we hover over it, we can tell. So this is south. 
uh, we're actually facing north when we're placing it, so it's going to be facing south when we're actually uh, placing the, replacing the south block when we're facing north. This is going to be placing the west block when we're facing east. And uh, this is the west direction. So when we're facing west, we're actually going to be placing the east block. And then when we're facing south, uh, we want to place the north block right down here. So that's basically all we're doing. Uh, for the last one, for south, uh, because it is uh, between um, 315 and 45, uh, we needed to create an else statement just to make sure that it runs properly. Um, when testing this, I had some issues with, um, because it was carrying over from basically three, um, 355 to uh, zero. Um, what would happen is it would glitch out a little bit. So I just created an else statement uh, down below. If you're not familiar on how to set up the, or configure the, if statement, so you can just go into the little gear icon at the top here, and then just drag uh, two else else if statements and one else statement at the bottom, and that will just make sure that there's no condition. Basically, what's going on if you add an else statement is if it none of these equal out true, then it's going to do something regardless uh, if there's a procedure or not. So that's basically what we have set up here. So let's hop in game, and I'll show you how it all works. So the procedure is always going to be on the block that you want to be your main icon. Uh, you want to disable the other directions. So in the in my instance, I have them enabled right now, the east, south, and west. But uh, I'm using north for basically testing when block added or placed by the, the player um, to basically detect the direction. So if we stand in the middle, red indicates that we're facing north. As you can see, north is here. This is going to be east, south, and west. So if we place down the block um, in the north direction, we're actually facing north right now. And if we're going a little bit a degree off, so a little bit that way, it's still going to be facing north. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit different when we're facing different directions but overall it's the same thing. Uh, I do have these directions mixed up though, so they're actually facing the wrong direction. Um, I'll fix that in just a second. But um, if we go and face south, then as you can see it's placing the block south direction. So the reason why these are facing the opposite direction is because I textured the blocks wrong. Um, Obviously, as you can see, it's, it is placing it properly. It's just, I forgot to texture the this side rather than this side. So uh, let's quickly go and fix some things up quickly. So the first thing that we wanna do is, it's our east and west direction. So this is supposed to be that with this over here. And then we're just gonna click save. And this is our west direction, so this should be facing over here, and that over here. And then we're going to click save again. And uh, for north procedure, what we want to do is go into here. I have already have it configured, but for the block that you're using to basically place the block down, you want it when block is placed by, and then add your procedure to this uh, little trigger right here. And just click save. So again, a uh, pretty simple system. Uh, hopefully you guys understand how it all works and if you have any questions you can let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to uh, get back to you and explain the best that I can personally. So uh, if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you liked about it and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, peace out.